Hello everyone, in this lesson, we are going to discuss the real number and it can be denoted as capital R. So kindly refers to the left hand side where we have the definition. Next, followed by the right hand side where we have the example. So number one, kindly refers to the left hand side where we have the definition for natural number and it can be denoted as capital N. So what is the natural number? It's a set of counting numbers. For example, we denoted as capital N which is start from 1, 2, 3, and etc. So here we have the example. Next, we have the prime number. The definition is the natural numbers, which is the counting numbers, that are greater than 1. N only can be divided by itself and 1. So here we have the example prime number, which is 2, 3, 5, 7, and etc. Next, we have the whole number, which can be denoted as capital W. So the definition for the whole number is the natural numbers together with the numbers of zero. So meaning that we have the N as a subset for the W, where we have W is equals to zero, one, two, three, or we can say it, the natural number add on with the number zero. Next, we have the integer and which is denoted as capital Z. The definition is the set of the positive integer where we have 1, 2, 3, 0 and the negative integer. So in the integer, we have the positive integer and we have the negative integer. For these kind of cases, it does not include the decimal point or the fraction. Next. In the integer, we have the element in the integer, which can be denoted as z, can be classified as the even and the odd number. So the formula for the even number, which is the 2k, and the value of k must be z, or we can say the integer. Next, we have the odd number, where we have the formula 2k plus 1, and the value of k must be an integer. Next, we have the rational number, which is the capital Q followed by the formula where we have a over b, or we can denote it as a fraction, where the a and b must be an integer and b is not equal to zero. Then we can call it as a rational number. So any number that can be represented as a ratio or quotient, or we can say fraction. For example, we have five, and it can be represented as five over one and equals to 5.0. So this is what we have the example for rational number. For the rational number can also be expressed as terminating or the repeating decimal places. For example, we have one over three. If we express in the decimal point, it will be 0 0.333 and etc. Or we can say 0 0.3 with the three, we have the bar, which is the repeating situation. Next, we have the irrational numbers where we have Q bar, which is the set of number whose decimal represent are either terminating nor repeating. So meaning that other than the rational, it is an irrational situation. So the definition also state that cannot be expressed as a quotient. For example, we have the value of pi and the square root of two. So the different types of real number can be represented by the following Venn diagram. So first, where we have the natural number, which is the set of counting number, represented by 1, 2, 3, and etc. Next, if we add on the value of 0, then it is a whole number. So the natural number is a subset for the whole number. Next, we have negative integer. And also we have the positive integer and then add on with the 0. So we have the z as an integer. Then after that, we add on the fraction or the decimal places, which can be represented as a fraction. So it can be denoted as Q. Other than the rational, it is called the irrational, where we have the Q bar. So if we sum up or we combine the rational and the irrational, and it will form a real number. So here we are, and thanks for watching.